So I am 22 weeks pregnant and in this vlog I will be talking about So let's kickstart the video with a look at the belly So I've hit the point in the pregnancy where I feel like strangers know I'm pregnant and I get a lot of like looking down at my belly um, but not saying anything because you know there's a joke about how you should never say to a pregnant woman like like you shouldn't comment on someone being pregnant until the baby's actually born so here's my belly from the front and from the side so I'm in here oops I'm in here and the belly's all like here and it's the other side and I'll show you with the shirt up So here's my belly from the front, from the side, yeah. And um, baby is almost always hanging out more to the left side, and I can usually feel baby over here, which is cute. Um, let me show you some photos of baby. Photos of baby. Okay, here's a photo of baby with the abdominal cyst. And you can see that there's this big black sac, and that is abdominal cyst. And then this is a photo of baby at the last appointment. You can see for baby that baby's head is over here, and then the spine, and baby's legs are straight up in the air with, baby, with baby's foot right over baby's face. I am feeling baby move a lot. When I was pregnant with Sam, I had an anterior placenta, um, so my placenta was on the front, and that prevented me from feeling a lot of movement um, right up until around this like 22, 23 week mark that I'm at now. But for a number of weeks, like I would say about seven weeks now, I've been feeling movement, and the movements are getting bigger and stronger, and it is just so much fun to feel baby move as much as I am. Also. When I wake up in the morning, um, I usually sleep on my left side all night long. And when I wake up um, and lay on my back, I can see this huge bump on my left side. And that is where baby has been also sleeping on the left all night long. And then when, even when I like lay flat, you can still see this huge bump where baby's been sleeping too. So it's so, so, so cute. Let's talk about the plan going forward. So if you saw my last update um, or didn't, the, the cyst that our baby had was large and posed a host of very, very concerning risks. And now those risks are pretty much not an issue for now because the cyst has regressed. The cyst has spontaneously regressed to a point that they there's nothing even to measure. There's no measurable cyst available to monitor. So we are stunned and elated that our baby is that much safer. So it's so exciting. Um, this does change a little bit about our plan. Things have shifted around. Um, I have decided I still want to deliver at Women and Children's Hospital of BC. It is a good, you know, highly rated hospital and I have changed care providers. Um, I was not satisfied with the care I was receiving at my last midwife. I don't feel a need to update weekly at this stage of the pregnancy because there's not really weekly events going on, um, but I will update soon with um, more news as things change. So that is it for 22 weeks. Yay! Um, thank you so much for all the support um, and well wishes and prayers and positive thinking. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I know that um, most of you have never even met me in real life, but it is so heartwarming to know that um, there's a connection there and that we're YouTube friends and we have this YouTube relationship. Um, it's been such a wonderful experience to have the YouTube mom and baby community um, involved in my life and I know I sure um, enjoy following your journeys as well. So um, thank you so much.